Welcome everybody to Warrior Stadium. We're getting started with our, one of our semifinal games for the women's division. This is Cornejada Hoyo versus Bukchero Hoyo. And we just had to count. The ball has been tossed up and the game has started. Book, let's see. Bukchero will be shooting toward the south side. They are wearing white. Cornejada will be shooting toward the north side. They are in the royal blue and white. Ball's out of play. Here's a toss up at the 50 yard line. Jeremy, I think we're looking for a very good game tonight. Uh, Conejada's the defending champions and Bocchetto is on the rise. They've had a good series so far. Both sides uh, have very talented females on there. Um, I think we're going to see a good defensive game, especially by the centers. Marie. And Conejada with the pickup. She thought she had the ball. She drops it. Bocchetto quickly moving in, trying to get to the ball. Ball shuffled around. Bukchito with the pickup. Ball is knocked away. And Cornerhead sends it back to about the 45 yard line. There's Blair Jimmy with the pickup for Cornerhead. She's going to throw it all the way down to the north end. Nice lob all the way down to the right underneath the goal. Cornerhead offense trying to put something together. There's a takedown. The ball is loose again. A lot of bodies flying all around right now. And Zanetta Williams with a shot, but blocked. Ball's right underneath the goal. Cornejada's trying to get it. Cornejada threatening to score. Jaslyn Ben in the mix. There was a shot. No good. Nice play by the Bocchero Hoyo. Defense held strong for that position there. We have eight minutes left in this uh, first quarter. Corner had a Ohio threatening to score. Pick up by uh, looks like Latricia Johnson there for Corner had Ohio. Sorry, that was Jaslyn Ben. Nice pick up by one of the. Bukchero Hoyo defender, she throws it to about the 30 yard line and there's release array. Ball is sent back about the 35. Bukchero threw a, took a shot, but Cornejada batted the ball back. And Bukchero with the pick -over. There's a high lob, batted down to the ground. Bukchero within striking distance. Seven minutes, 10 seconds. Bukchero quickly trying to get the ball. Here's the ball. Oh, Taken she, down by corner head of defense. We still have a pile up near the pole. I think she tried to run that one in, but yeah. was tackled by one of the corner head of defenders. Yeah, she opened her with open arm. Welcomed her with open arms. Oh! And Bocchito sends the ball back toward the south side. Bocchito sends it down. Ball's batted around. Bocchito shooter quickly trying to get to it. Quinn had a thought they had the ball. Bookchito with a long shot. Ball's at the southeast corner. Ball's thrown out of play on the east side of the field. We have six minutes, 16 seconds left in the quarter. Bookchito threatening to score. Here's a lob. Swing and a miss by Quinn had a defender. Ball's down about five yards, now 10 yards. Ball's brought down right near the pole. Corner had a defender. Thought she had the ball. Ball's loose. Her teammate with the pickup. She turns the corner. There's a long throw back to the 50 yard line. That was a good throw by one of the Corner had a defenders. But Bookchito sends it back. Ball's loose. It's down to the 50. Bookchito with a pickup. She tried to get rid of the ball, but was taken down hard. Ball pops out to about the 50 yard line. Every, all the center is running toward it. A lot of pushing and shoving going on. And Cornejada able to get it out of there. But there's Kene Saki. Nice catch. Good hard throw to about the 40 yard line. Batted back by Cornejada. Oh, oh, we got we have a fresh early hit. Looks like Cornejada is going to be 
One of the Cornada players, Blair Jimmy, is going to take a break. And Bocchito sends the ball back toward the south side. Ball's about the 20. Bocchito sends it further on down. Ball's batted around. Bocchito with pickup, turn, shoots. Batted down by Cornada. Uh... Cornada sends it back. Bocchito with the pickup, turns, takes another shot. No, batted away by Cornada defender again. And Cornada sends it back upfield to about the 27. Yard line, four minutes, 20 seconds left in this quarter. Tied score. Book Chido takes another shot. No good. That was a long shot, too. And Cornetta thought they threw it, but the ball went to the right. So we're still at the southwest, well, southeast corner. And Cornetta regains control, sends it back to our midfield. Ball's at about the 50-yard line. All the centers are going after it. Bocchetto is able to retain possession. And loses the ball. I think the ball got stuck in her stick. <laughs> We're at the 50-yard line. Bocchetto quickly moving in. Cornahada sends it back. Her teammate blocks out for her. Ball still on the ground. Three minutes, 33 seconds left in the quarter. Ball, ball pops up. There's uh, number five for Cornejada. Emily Shoemate. She takes a shot. Oh. Score! Oh. Emily Shoemate with the first score for Cornejada Hoyo. How many she, yards out would you say that, that was, Jay? That had to be at least be 30 yards out. That was and a beautiful shot. She did that oh. She did, did, did that the other night. Oh, Ooh. and a hard hit by Kanae Saki. That was Jenna Chickaway that took the receiving part, but she got back, and she's back in order again. Here we go. Throw to the south side. Cornerhead leads 1-0. to zero. Two minutes, 48 seconds left in the first quarter. Cornerhead defense stacks up. Cornerhead defender sends the ball back. Erica Phillips there for, for Cornerhead. There goes Emily again. Here's a lob. This time it's blocked by Bocchero. Defense. Book to the defense trying to hold. There's a uh, one of the, looks like Candace for Book to is able to advance it forward. Nice pickup by Corner Had a player. It was uh, Audrey Jimmy with that um, throwback. Hard shot by number 11 for Cornejera. Kate Chickaway. Cornejera within striking distance. One minute, 52 seconds left in this quarter. Here's another shot. Oh. Score! That was a nice pickup and shot there by one of the Cornejera players. Puts the score 2-0. to zero. And the ball's tossed up, and Bookchero's able to move it down to the south end. We'll get a name and number there in a sh real shortly for... Who made that score? Ball's on the south end. Bocchetto trying to trying to uh, respond to Cornejada's two points. That last score is by number 48, Cecilia Willis, that posted for Cornejada. Making the score 2-0. to zero. Ball's at the south side. Cornejada defenders quickly send that ball back to the 35-yard line. One minute, seven seconds. Cornejada leads 2-0 to zero over Bocchetto Hoyo. Bocchito Hoyo sends the ball back wide left toward the southeast side of the field. Nice pick up by Bocchito player. Just off the mark there on the shot. bocchito has got some good shooters, so they can they can catch back up pretty quickly. But Coney had a defense being strong. Bocchito with another shot. Wide left. 40 seconds left in the quarter. Looks like the ball is out of play. Here's your toss-up on the south side. Balls lobbed toward the pole. Oh, two collapsed. But they're back up. And Cornerhead sends it back toward the 50 yard line. Book Chido shuffles it back toward the south side. We got some hard hitting going on out here. 15 and seconds left here in the first quarter. There's Kene Saki again for Book Chido. She picks it up. She's going to run down the sideline. Short throw toward the south end. 
And that is the end of the first quarter. Konaheda Ohoyo leads Bukchito Ohoyo 2-0. We'll be right back after these messages. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second quarter of the women's division game between Konehata Hoyo versus Bokchito Hoyo. The current score is Konehata leads 2 to 0 over Bokchito. But two points is nothing to sleep on because this team can, with uh, Bokchito shooters, they can come back real quickly. Yeah, posted for Konehata was uh, Emily Shoemake, number five from about 30 yards out, and then Cecilia Willis was able to put one on the board following that to make it 2-0. to zero. But like you said, Bukchido, they've got a lot of good players, some young, fast players, some good shooters, so this lead isn't safe. If Once they get going, they can get a lot of shots in. So it's, yeah, because uh, both, both sides, their, their centers are playing hard out there. We see some hard hits, too. Or surprised that some of them actually got back up after colliding. Looks like we have too many players on the field, so waiting for players to come out. And there goes one out for Conejada, and the ball is tossed up by head official Glenn Billy. Conejada shooting on the north end and as the home team, and Bookchitto's on the south side. Siobhan Willis flicks it up toward, toward her goal. Nice pick up in law by number 33. And number 31 for Bukchero picks it up, drops it, picks it up again, and is able to get it out of there. Nice pick up and throw by one of the Bukchero centers. We are at the south side. Bukchero picks it up. Here's a shot. Bat it down by Kona had a defender. 
Quinnahetta sends it back to about the 45. Blair Jimmy in the mix. There's a hard takedown about the 30-yard line, 25. Got a nice huddle forming there about 30 yards out on the south end. Look to the offense. is trying to capitalize while the ball's on their side of the field. Couple players popped up, thought they had the ball, but they didn't. So somebody's got it in their sticks. Looks like we got a tug of war going on at one point, but now the ball's been sent out. The ball is right near the pole. Bookchito threatening to score. It's eight minutes, 22 seconds. We have another huddle right by the field goal. Corner had a thought she had it. Ball is knocked onto the ground again. Waiting to see one of the players pick it up. And there's number 16 for Bookchito. Roaming around. Off the mark. That was Natalie Jefferson. Well, no, no, no. That was uh, Selena John with that shot. Ball sent back about the 40-yard line. Ball's out of play. Here's a toss-up. And Quinnahetta sends it toward the north side. Bookchito batted it down with her body. And Bookchito takes a shot. I mean, Quinnahetta takes oh, a shot. Oh, whoa. She hit the top of the pole there. Number 33 for Corny Hatter Hoyo, Danielle, Danielle Phillips. Phillips. Ball's been tossed up. Ball sent to the south side. Ooh, Cotty Dan had the ball and took a hard shot. Slowly getting up for Bookchero. Yeah, she thought she was going to be injured because she got hit from the back and her head. It went straight into the leg of the Corny Hatter center. Some of these hits that they get out here can lead to concussions, and so that's why we have our medical staff here to keep an eye out, make sure, you know, if any broken bones or anything that needs medical attention, they are right there on the sidelines. And Quinnahetta with the pickup. Long throw from the south side, sending it toward the north. Ball at about the 10-yard line for Quinnahetta. Bookchero player able to pick it up and get it out of there. 43 for Cornejada. Picks it up and lobs it to the goal. Ball ends up right below the goal. Bookchito player is able to get it out. Nice catch there by Kanesaki. And there's Blair Jimmy returning the favor. Ball out to about the 40 yard line. Bookchito player picks it up. Being dragged around, and the ball goes out of bounds. And a catch and throw by Blair Phillips from the center position all the way down to the backside of the north goal. Good, strong play by Book to the defense. There by Bocchetto. We're about the 47 yard line. Bocchetto sends the ball to the south side. Five minutes, 23 seconds left in the quarter, and Cornerheader sends it back toward the north. Ball's about the 45-yard line. Release Ray trying to get it, get the ball to, the, to their side of the field. She misses it, but Ella Janae Sam able to pick it up right behind her and throws it all the way to the back side of the south goal. Just under five minutes left to go in the first half. Corner had a leading score of three to zero. Ball's tossed up there on the east side of the south goal. And one of the Phillips girls able to pick it up and get it out of there. The 
Blair Jimmy with a pickup and a long throw all the way to the backside of the north goal. We have just under four minutes left to go in the first half. Conejada has the ball on their side of the field. They're leading by a score of three to zero. We have a huddle on the back of the north goal. It looks like there's a tug of war going on. Somebody has it in their sticks. Eventually it'll pop out and we'll get started again in a huddle. Three minutes, 10 seconds left in this quarter. Book Chido threatening to score. Ball's quickly moving around. Quina, uh, Book Chido sends it back toward bar, the 20 yard line. Ball's out of play. Here's your toss up. Quinnahetta with the pickup sends it back toward north side. That was uh, Kate Chick away with that throw. Two minutes, 41 seconds left. Cornerhead leads three to zero over Book Chitto. There's Siobhan Willis with a turnaround shot. Blocked by Book Chitto defense. And Kane Saki able to get it out. Advances to about the 30 yard line. Looks like number 20 for Cornerhead picks it up. Throws it back to the north side. Mercedes Jefferson with that throw. 21, Shade McMillan. Nice catch and score by a corner had a player. That was a nice catch and shot by one of their players. And big, two minutes left to go, and Corner has got a 4-0 to zero lead. All right, Book Chido sends the ball back down toward the south side. That was number one, Alicia Jefferson with the score for Corner Hedda. We have one minute, 40 seconds. Book Chido Lee uh, quickly within that striking distance. But Cornetta sends it back toward the north side, batted down by Book Chido player. Her teammate picks up the ball, turns, takes a shot, batted down by Book Chido defender. One minute, 19 seconds left in this uh, second quarter. Ball's batted around, both sides fighting, trying to get to the ball. Conejeta Hoyo leads Bukchito Hoyo 4 to 0. We'll be right back after these messages.
Chito Ohoyo and Koneheta Ohoyo. Currently, the score is Koneheta Ohoyo leads 4 to 0 over Book Chito. We are about to start the third quarter. In this quarter, Koneheta will be shooting toward the south side goal. Book Chito in the white will be shooting toward the north side goal. Women's play in 10 minute quarters and so we have 20 minutes left to go in the game. Book Chido needs to put something together. Um, for, for the most part, it's been the ball's been moving back and forth, but Cunningham has been able to capitalize. They've posted four points. They did four to zero. Yeah, one of them was a 30-yard shot. Yeah, that was the first one. That, I think got, that got the momentum going. But nice, nice stick handling and skill showing by both teams. Um, it's a pretty fair game. It's just Book Chido's got to get something going. But not to say, you know, Book Chido, they, they are a very tough team. They can, once they get motivation on their side, they can really go on firing all cylinders. Once that happens, it's tough to stop them. So, as soon as we get a final count, we're going to have a toss-up. But the only thing against them right now is Conejada is known for their defense. The Conejada women defense has always been strong. So, we'll see what happens. So far, they've been able to hold him to zero. And as we start, release a ray with a long throw. She threw that ball right near the pole. And Cornerheader sends it back toward midfield. Ball goes through a lot of sticks there. And Jenna. That was Jenna Chickaway with that throw back toward the south side. Oh, beautiful spin by Cornerheader. She took a shot. No good. Ball's on the southeast. Cornerheader with the ball, lobs it. Looks like we have a infraction on Raina King. She's going to be exiting the game for the quarter. Kane Saki with a beautiful throw back toward the middle of the field from her knees. But Kornahada sends it back toward the south side. Here's a shot. No good. Nice block by the Bookchito defense. Kornahada, there's another shot. I just love the athleticism of our women. They are quick. They are dead eyes, too. They have some beautiful shot selections. And like I said last night, some of these women can outplay some of the men in the men's division. Here's a throw toward midfield. Audrey Jimmy quickly trying to get to the ball. Eight minutes, 32 seconds. Ball sent out to the side. Oh. Oh, ho. There was an infraction there on Conejera, so Jenna Chickaway is going to take a break. And Emily, she makes back into the field. Oh, Emily jarred the ball away from the book. Chido. Oh, she took a hit, but she still sent the ball to the south side. Here's a shot. No good. That would have hurt me if I got tagged in the leg like that. And Conejera sends the ball back up. Ball is batted around about the 20. Book Chido picks it up. Oh, the ball left her sticks a little too early. Hannah Lewis thought she was about to make a long throw, but the ball went straight up for Bukchero. Ball's out of play again. Here's your toss-up again. There's Hannah Lewis again for Bukchero defense. Advances it to back to the north end. Number 82 picks Ball it up. Ball went straight up in the air. I thought she was going to throw a long shot, but he just left her sticks and went straight in the air. Ball was rolling around. Book Chido lobs the ball toward the pole. Ball is on the back of the north goal. Book Chido trying to capitalize. Corner had a defense holding it strong. Oh, nice lob over the back of her head. Ends up right behind the goal. And Corner had a. Oh, she, I thought she sent it back. Looks like she lost control. And there it goes. Corner is able to get it out to the 50, 50 yard line. There's Candace Jefferson for Bokchero. She's played a strong game so far. And 
a swing by one of the Conehatta defenders. She misses. Ball ends up on the backside. Shot there by Bukchero, blocked by the, uh, one of the goalies. Shot by number 75 for Bukchero Hoyo. We have five minutes, 50 seconds left in this quarter. Bukchero is threatening to score, but Conehatta defense sends it back to the south side. That was Jennifer Shomo with a nice stop and pick up. And there's Emily Shoemake. She sets up, lobs it right over the goal. Going ahead with a pick up. Oh, nice, nice hit there by one of the Bukchero Hoya defense. We have five minutes, 20 seconds left. <clears throat> Bukchero throws the ball up to about the 10-yard line, but Going ahead with a pick up takes the shot. No good. A lot of pushing and shoving going on the south end. Couldn't have had a player picks it up over the top. Ball bounces about the 30-yard line, and Couldn't have had it with a pickup. She like, takes a shot. It looked like Mercedes Jefferson there. She got real close that time. You would be correct, sir. It was a beautiful shot. Came close. Couldn't have had us threatening. There's another long throw. And Candace Jefferson's able to pick it up, but she loses it. And Emily Shoemake with a pickup. Oh. Lobs it before she's hit out of bounds. There's LaShayla McMillan. Turns around over the top. We have four minutes, seven seconds left in this quarter. We are on the southeast corner as Cornerhead Ohio threatening to score. Looks but like Sherelle Stevens with a pickup for Cornerhead. Over the top. Book to the defense. Needs to get it out of there. And Kene Saki is able to do so, but. Not very far, and Kone had a center is able to get it back right over the top of the goal. And there's Candace Jefferson able to get it out, advances it to about midfield. Ooh. We got three minutes, 15 seconds left in the quarter. Bukchido in their territory, looking to advance the ball toward the north side. Ball sent toward the north side. Looks like Marie Wilson trying to pick up the ball, but this time she becomes a blocker. And one of the centers is able to scoop it forward. And there's Zanetta Williams again. She's going to pick it up, lobs it. Ball's at about the 15-yard line. Just under three minutes left to go in the third quarter. Kone had a lead in by a score of 5-0. to zero. There's Latricia Johnson. Do we have a player on the ground? Looks like we might have an injury there. She's able to get up and walk off the field. Corner had a threatening to score. Corner had a lead four to zero over Bukchido Huyo in the third quarter. Bukchido looking to add some more points. There goes number 11 for Corner Hatta off the mark. It's Kate Chikwe with that shot. She's had kept several shots today. She keeps it up. She's going to nail one of them. It's like a minute and a half left in the third quarter. Ball's on the south side, but Book to the defense able to get it out. 22, Mandy Bila quickly trying to get into the ball. There's Candace Jefferson again. But 
Couldn't have had a defense holding strong again. We got one minute, 10 seconds left. Book Chittle advances the ball toward the south side. Batted down by the defense. Book Chittle within striking distance. Ball's out of play. Here's your toss up. North side. And Kunihata defense sends it back toward the midfield. 49 seconds left in this quarter. Book Chido with the pickup. Sends it back toward the north side. Batted down by Kunihata defender. Kunihata sends it back up to about the 30. Looks like Tamina Solomon giving chase. She misses it, but Jennifer Shomo able to pick it up and she gets shoved to the ground. There's Emily Shoemaker again. Ball's down about the five-yard line. Corner header takes a shot. No good. That was close. Yes, sir. Bookchito defender throws it. Batted down right near the pole. Here's another shot by corner header. No good. Nine seconds. Five seconds. Corner header takes another shot. No good. And at the end of the third quarter, Konaheta Ohoyo leads Bokchiro Ohoyo 4-0. to We'll be right back after these messages. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the fourth quarter in the women's division as we are watching Koneheta Hoyo take on Bukchiro Hoyo. Currently, your score is Koneheta leads Bukchiro 4 to 0. We are about to start the fourth quarter. Koneheta in the royal blue and white taking on Bukchiro in the white and red orange. Let's give a shout out to the coaches uh, for Konehara Hoyo. It's Jaron Johnson, B.R. McMillan, Grant Williams, and Clifton Yogi Willis. 
And for Book Chido, it's the usual crew. Bracey Bell, Michael Morris, Van Morris, Elijah Jimmy, Craig Morris, Leslie Morris, and Jackie Morris. They've done a good job with the ladies. Getting them ready for this game. And <coughs> just want to give them a shout out. Oh, beautiful catch by Book Chido. At the toss-up, she took it and sent it to the north side. That was Shanika Nikki. There's Dejanera Lewis, number 14 for Book Chido. Oh, she's taking down hard. She tried to get another shot, but they blocked it. We haven't called her name that much tonight. She's been a force for the Book Chido Ohio team. Look like Arthur Jimmy on her. There's Shanika again with another throw back toward the north side. Marie Wilson able to get it out for Conejada. Pick up and throw by number 98 for Bocchero, I mean for Conejada Hoyo. Oh, ball was batted down right near the pole. There's another lob toward the pole. That was Jaslyn Ben with that throw. Conejada takes a shot, no good. Alicia Jefferson with a nice shot there. She's already got one point. There's another one. We got a pile up right near the pole. Can Corner had a pop and but the ball is thrown back out toward the southeast side. We got an infraction on the south end. Most likely an early hit. Ball is tossed up. And Cornetta sends it toward the pole. Ball is battered away. Candace Jefferson picks up the ball, sends it back to the 50 yard line. Cornetta quickly moves in, trying to get to the ball. There goes Blair Jimmy with the pickup. She's running down at the 30. She's going to lob it up. Just, just off the mark there on, the, on Blair's shot. Ball goes out of bounds, so another toss-up. Courtney had us threatening again on the south side. There was another shot deflected by Bocchero. There's Blair on from her, a shot from her knees. Ball is batted down right near the pole. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left. Courtney had a threatening a strike. They lead 4-0. to zero. Oh. Here's a shot. Number 33 for Conejada comes out of the huddle. Danielle Phillips posts another score for Conejada Hoyo. And Vol, I think the rain is starting to come down. But ladies and gentlemen who are new to this game, even if it rains, they keep playing. Only time that the game will be delayed is if there is lightning in the air. But if it rains, we play. And these ladies will play too. And you're going to see the same intensity. Just a lot more slipping and sliding. I think we had a score on the Bocchetto side. They've been, they are able to post one, I believe. I don't hear no confirmation from the officials. But we'll let you know if we hear, hear something. But Cornejeda, once again on the south side, threatening to score. Bocchetto defense picks it up. Thought she had thrown it, but the ball is back on the ground. There's some pushing going on out there. They're as starting to slip and fall now as the water, uh, the rain's starting to get the field wet now. Larea McMillan thought she had it, but the ball slipped out of her cups. There is... Bookchito at the north side. Bookchito threatening to score again. We apologize. We, don't, we didn't catch who scored for Bookchito. The score is 5-1 to one now. We're trying to get a name and number. Cambry York has been number 48 for Bookchito. is the one that posted the point. Score is now five to one. Five and a half minutes left to go. Corner head of defense sends it back toward the 45. Ball is batted around. 
And release the raise. Sends it back toward the north side. Ball's deflected about three feet away from the pole. Corner had a defense stacks up. Cornell thought they had it. There's a book to the player. Shot. Score. score. No. No, no, no. It's been, well, well, two players are waving it off. Two officials wave it off. There's a signal. And the point counts. So the score is five to two. Just under five minutes left to go in the game. There is a behind the back throw. And another hard shot by Bocchero. And the rain is starting to come down hard now. See fans trying to get their umbrellas open or get under cover. But the ladies out here are still going strong. The last point was number 16, Selena John for Bocchero. If they can put another one on the point oh. here, on the board here, we might get a little excited. The fans might come back and sit in the rain. There's Tamela Salmon. Under four minutes left to go in the game. Bukchero trying to get the ball back to their side. Looks like Conejada is overloading on defense. There's a lot of blue on the north side of the field. This is a, this isn't a drizzle. This is a nice rain coming down. But these women are still out there playing. Three minutes, 23 seconds. Quinnahatta leads. Five to two over Bookchito. Bookchito picks it up, sends the ball back toward the north side. Quinny defense. There's another shot. No good by Bookchito. Ball, there's a lot of blue on this side of the field. Yeah, I kind of figured they were going to st uh, stack up their uh, defense on this side, especially with two minutes, 59 seconds. Bocchetto still threatening. They're trying to make something happen here. And we have an infraction. Looks like uh, one of the Cornhatter defenders has to come out of the game. And ball's tossed up. And a Cornhatter defender is able to get it out of there to center field. And there's Raina King, number 98, for Bocchetto. She picks it up. Shot just over the top. Two minutes, 19 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Bocchetto threatening the score, trying to add some more points on as Cornerhead leads them 5-2. to two. A shot by Bocchetto just off the mark. And... Looks like one of the Jimmy girls is able to get it out of there. Zanetta William picks it up and advances it forward. And there's a lot of Bocchetto defenders here. She's able to pick it. One of them is able to pick it up and move it to center field. One minute, 36 seconds left. Where's your toss up about the 45? Looks like we have a whistle. Oh, there was too many balls on the field. Corey Bell with the mistake again on the official side. Just kidding, Corey. <laughs> balls at center field. Just over a minute left. Courtney had us trying to hold on. They have a 5-2 to two lead. Trying to keep the ball on the south side of the field. One minute, five seconds left. Courtney had a... There is uh, no shooters except for one. But there's Jaina Chickaway, picks it up, lobs it, and blocked by Bocchetto defense. Boy, she swung for the fences like Barry Bonds on that swing. Looks like they're uh, stacking up on the uh, center now, the center defense. Ball's on the south side of the field. That's where Conejada wants to keep it. 30 seconds left to go in the game. Book to the defense trying to get out. There's uh, Siobhan Willis, number 17 for Conejada. She misses it. Ball, 
Balls to about the 40 yard line. Kali Dans scoops at it, gets to center field. This time picks it up and lobs it over ahead. Five seconds left to go in the game. Looks like Kone Hatahoyo is going to move forward. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the game. Konejeta Ohoyo defeats Bochito Ohoyo 5-2. Konejeta will advance to the finals Friday night at 11.30 p.m. as they will take on the winner of the upcoming game between Tali Ohoyo and Tiakakia Ohoyo. This is Jay Bell along with Mr. Jason Grisham announcing your game tonight. We thank you for joining us and wait for you to come join us for the next upcoming game. Y'all have a great night.